So I got a question from a podcast listener where they asked, I am really into giving oral sex to women. I love the way it makes them feel and the way it makes me feel. But my current partner is not into it at all. Whenever I ask her or try to go down there, she pushes me away or she tells me she doesn't like it. Is there anything I can do to make her more open to oral? Well, that's a great question, and I will say this. It's hard to know, right, why she doesn't like oral. This is probably a conversation to have outside the bedroom, not in the middle of the moment when, you know, nerves are high or feelings are high or everyone's feeling vulnerable. But it is worth a conversation because... First of all, if you really enjoy it, this is something, God bless you for really enjoying giving that way, but it's something that you definitely want to talk about. Now, the most common reasons why a woman is not into oral is, one, she has some trauma around it, right? So maybe she was sexually molested or abused and there was oral involved and that has become, so this happens a lot when there's a history of trauma, there are certain sexual activities or behaviors that are in the mind and in the memory kind of correlated with that abuse. And so there's shame, there's trauma, there's emotional pain, you know, in that activity. So she can't really enjoy oral because she's having PTSD. Now there are things hopefully that can be done about that, right? If she's having that much trauma still present, she needs you know, to get into treatment, not so you can do oral sex on her, but because it's obviously still pretty up for her. Now, one of the most common forms of treatment for sexual treatment for sexual trauma is that we try to help the individual who's had that trauma learn and how to incorporate other activities that don't trigger them. So we definitely don't want to force a woman who has trauma around oral sex to have oral sex. That's just going to re-traumatize her. But it is a sign if that's the case, that there is unhealed trauma there that still needs to be addressed for her to have the fullest life that she can, right? The other reason, which I would say is much more common for a woman not to want oral sex, is because she's self-conscious. I mean, whether we like it or not, and I hate this about our society, women are raised in all these subtle ways to feel self-conscious about their genitals. I mean, when I go in to talk to groups of teenagers, you know, like the 11, 12, 13-year-olds about sex education, one of the things that I love to do with them, and it's kind of an icebreaker, but it's also really instructive, is I ask them to give me all the slang words, medical terms, whatever that they can think of for a woman's genitals and a male's genitals or an XX genitals and XY genitals, right? Because if you listen to what they already know as 13, 14, 15-year-olds that they hear in the slang and in the lexicon and in the classroom or the playground, I should say, not really the classroom, it will be words like for, you know, penis, it'll be seven inches of heaven, love snake, powerhouse, you know, all of these like really empowering or pet names. And when they talk about vulva or a vagina, they're saying things like, tuna, stink box, you know, all of these really horrific derogatory terms. And of course, you know, we talk about that and we talk about how misogynistic that is and how toxic that is and how incorrect that is. But the truth is most women grow up feeling ashamed of their genitals and self-conscious about them, self-conscious about the appearance, self-conscious about the odor, the taste, and also self-conscious about how long it takes them to get present and have orgasms during any act of sex, but especially oral sex, where they are the focus of attention and they have to kind of sit back and receive, you know, assuming you're not doing mutual oral sex. So if she's not into it, first and foremost, I would say, you know, don't force it. Obviously, if someone's not into something, you don't want to force it, but do have a conversation about it and find out why, right? Those are just two of the most common reasons. It also could be that you're not really doing it right and it's kind of uncomfortable and she doesn't really like it and she doesn't really know what to tell you about how to do it better right so if you really want to do oral sex like get a book you can get my book loving sex or someone else's book about oral sex techniques and look at it with her and say hey you know do any of these look attractive to you are you interested in trying any of these techniques right? And watch the video that I made about how to perform oral sex on a woman and learn how to do it. 
But with this kind of woman who isn't into it, you're going to have to have that conversation first about why she's not into it and is there anything that would make it more comfortable. The final reason that a woman may not be into it is because she just has low desire in general. First of all, she's going to avoid everything sexual and she's going to want sex to be over as quickly as possible because she's not that into it. So it's not that she's not that into you as a human being. She just, you know, is not that into sex anymore. And that's an issue of low desire. So definitely watch my videos on uneven desire or low desire in women. But if she does have low desire, then she very well may not be into any aspects really of foreplay other than the bare minimum required to get you aroused, to get her aroused enough to have intercourse so that, you know, she can go back to watching Queen Charlotte, Bridgerton, whatever that is that she wants to watch, or doing something else on her to-do list. So I hope that gives you some guidance or some ideas. And if you have more questions or this isn't, none of these really apply to you once you think about it, then definitely let me know and I'll make another video to answer more. Because you know I'm always here, intending always to help you love and be loved better. 